Connor has the horses. The gate. Race one nine starters. Horse champ. Base side Omega. Egyptian broad. Brigani star. Cavans. Jimmer Island. Caddy. Jr. Race time. Irish fog and flaming grit. Hit rough and facing Brigani Star off the gate looks for the lead horse champ moves up on the inside as they race to the turn Flaming Grit now up into the number three spot outside four is Bayside Omega then Egyptian Broad as they head into the back stretch turn Cavans Jimmer is parked up on the extreme outside by the eighth they're on their way now to the quarter horse champ leads by two lengths then Brigani Star Flaming Grit facing three Egyptian Broad getting closer four still outside Cavans Jimmer Along the rail is Bayside Omega, then Island Candy. They race by the quarter. JRH time sitting behind them and trailing is Irish Fog. Opening quarter was 31 and two fifths. They move on to the upper turn. Setting the early fractions, leading by one length is number one, Orr's Champ. He drives off the top, getting a good trip behind him second, Brigani Star. Up tight in three flaming grit, they're off the top turn. Racing through the stretch in two and a half. Your early leader, Orr's Champ, is still there. Brigani Star second. Flaming Grit follows up in three. From the fourth spot, Egyptian Broad. Setting in five, base side Omega. Island Candy moves up with Irish Fog on the outside. J.R. Race Time and Cavans Jimmer. Half was in 104 and four-fifths. They travel on to the five-eighths into the back stretch for the second time. Orr's Champ is still there by one. Then Brigani Star. Flaming Grit. Here comes Egyptian Broad. Now up from the number four position. Base side Omegas to the outside to follow. Island Candy along the rail. Bergani Star coming quickly now to the outside. Drives on looking for the front and shows on top. But Orr's Champ battles back with him. Going to the three quarters. Orr's Champ and Bergani Star side by side. Then Flaming Grit. 137. They're heading for the upper turn. Orr's Champ now leads by ahead. Racing on the outside. Bergani Star. Flaming Grit holding on to three. Island Candy looks to get out four and along the fence. Egyptian Brown is wide. They're off the turn. One eighth to go, and here they come to the lane for home. Driving on top now by one is Orr's Champ. They race to the lane. Island Candy moving up quickly now on the inside. They're battling to the lane. Orr's Champ. Island Candy is closing fast. Racing under the wire. It's going to be Earl Smith winning win number 1,000 of his career with Orr's Champ. Island Candy will be second. The mile 208 and 3. Race one is official from the top of your program. Orr's Champ, your race winner. Base Side Omega finished sixth. Egyptian Broad, five. Brigani Star, third. Command Shimmer was eight. Island Candy, two. JR Race Time. In race of the afternoon, Dusty's Robbie, Cavans, Jimmer, Glenn Galan, Island Candy, Flaming Grit, Grand Egg, J, Egyptian Broad, Brett's Rocky. They're off facing Cavans, Jimmer off the gate, moving up on the outside is Glenn Galan with Grand Egg, J along the rail, Dusty's Rami. They're moving to the eighth end of the back stretch, Cavans, Jimmer moves up to take over the top, Glenn Galan parked on the outside, at the rail, Dusty's Rami. As they head into the back stretch turn, setting four is Brett's Rocky, then Island Candy. They move on to the opening quarter. Glenn Galan getting up on the outside to challenge. Racing on top, Cavans Jimmer. Glenn Galan is second and looks for the lead. Behind them, Dusty's Robbie racing three, setting a length back in four. Brett's Rocky, then Island Candy with Flaming Grit. From the number seventh spot is Egyptian Broad and trailing now Grand Egg J. The opening quarter was 31 and two fifths. They move on to the top turn, setting the early fractions, Cavans Jimmer leading by one, settling into two is Glenn Galan. Dusty's Robbie takes a look from three, they're off the turn. Brett's Rocky now looks to the outside from four. Following him is Island Candy, then Flaming Grit from the back, Egyptian Broad, and Grand Big J. Coming past the halfway point, Cavans Jimmer still off the top with Glenn Galan. Moving up, Brett's Rocky, half, 105 and one fifth. They travel on now to the 5 eighths, moving into the back stretch for the second time. And still leading, Cavans Jimmer, Glenn Garland, Brett's Rocky on the outside. Island Candy moving up as they head into the back stretch. Brett's Rocky's rough on the outside. They're on their way to the three quarters. 
Gavan's Jimmer steps away by two lengths over Glen Gallan. Brett's Rocky back at it on the outside. Island Candy out and following him. Dropping back Dusty's Robbie. Here's Flaming Grit now moving. They go by the three quarters. Gavan's Jimmer takes them there in 137 and 1 fifth. They continue now to the upper turn. And it's Cavan's Jimmer by one and a half. Glen Gallan is second. Moving up on the outside Island Candy and Brett's Rocky. They swing off the top turn and here they come into the stretch. They're on their way home. Cavan's Jimmer leads still by one and a half. Brett's Rocky coming back up on the outside with Island Candy. Glen Gallan is to the center. They're traveling through the stretch and to the wire. Cavan's Jimmer, Glen Gallan moving up. At the wire it'll be Cavan's Jimmer, Glen Gallan and Brett's Rocky to mile and 210. Times, 31 and 2, 105 and 1, 137 and 1, and the mile in 210. Upcoming, races 2 and 3, your daily double. Race of the afternoon, Renfield Girl, Bergani Star, Scotch Lady S, Darling Horatio, Glen Gallan, Cavan's Jimmer, HR, Eroqua, and Island Candy. Here they come. And they're off and pacing as they get away out on the outside. Cavan's Jimmer with Glen Gallan in the center. Renfield Girl drives at the rail. They're moving up to the eighth and into the back stretch, and Renfield Girl now shows on top. Parked outside, Cavan's Jimmer second. He moves up and takes over the top spot. Into the back stretch turn, Cavan's Jimmer now leading by an open length. From two, Renfield Girl. Bergani starts, sets three. Glen Gallan driving in the number four spot. Then comes Scotch Lady S. Following Scotch Lady S is Darling Horatio. With H.R. Iroquois and Island Candy is at the tail end of the field. They move by the quarter, heading now to the upper turn. Still with a lead of one length. Showing on top is number six, Cavan's Jimmer. Renfield Girl gets a good trip second. Tied up in the number three position is Brigani Star. Glen Gallan driving in four, length back sitting in five, is Scotch Lady S. Moving up on the outside as they head off the top turn and through the lane. Darling Horatio is moving. They're passing the halfway point, and Glen Gallan steps to the outside. Brigani Star also out and moving. Up by the halfway point, Cavan's Jimmer takes the field of the half, then Brigani Star. They were by the half in 105 and three-fifths. They move on to the five-eighths. Into the back stretch they go for the second and final time. Cavan's Jimmer still there. Out on the outside is Brigani Star. Renfield Girl along the rail. Scotch Lady S is moving closer. Off stride, Glenn Gallan and Darling Horatio. Through the back stretch as they continue on to the three-quarters. Cavan's Jimmer... With Brigani Star outside, Renfield Girl looks to get out. Scotch Lady S within striking distance has 4HR Iroquois moves up. They race on to the 7 8 Cavan's Jimmer holds on by a length. Brigani Star is still out there. Renfield Girl is looking for room up through the center. Scotch Lady S gets closer in four. They're off the turn. Here comes Island Candy racing into the lane as they drive on home. Cavan's Jimmer takes them off the turn and through the stretch. Brigani Star, Renfield Girl closes up on the inside. Here they come through the stretch as they drive on home. Under the wire, it'll be Renfield Girl, Cavan's Jimmer, and Scotch Lady S. Race 1 9 entries, Mini Senator, Tammy's Dandy, Maximilian Fenway, Dusty Robbie, Van Way Lucky, Opinions Harmony, Scotch Lady S, Water Beauty, and Cavan's Jimmer. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Maximilian Fenway gets out quickly to grab the lead. Van Way Lucky is up on the outside second as they go to the first turn. Ear leader and showing on top now is Maximilian Fenway. Racing up second, Van Way Lucky. They make the turn into the back stretch, coming in along the rail. It's Mitty Senator. They're heading through the back stretch turn. They're on their way to the quarter. Maximilian Fenway leads by a length. Driving second is Van Way Lucky. As they head for the opening quarter, Mitty Senator paces in along the rail. Up on the outside is Opinions Harmony as they race by the opening quarter. They get by the quarter, racing on now to the upper turn. 
Setting the early fractions and leading now by two lengths, Maximilian Fenway. Driving in two is Van Way Lucky. The rest of the field back four lengths as they head off the top turn. They're coming into the stretch for the half. No change up front. It's still Maximilian Fenway. Now starting to catch up in two is Van Way Lucky. Mitty Senator with Cavans Jimmer now to the outside as they pass the halfway point. Maximilian Fenway leads by two lengths. Van Way Lucky second. Cavans Jimmer with Mitty Senator. Driving five is Tammy's Dandy. Pinions Harmony in along the rate. The half was in 105 and two fifths into the back stretch turn. They're on their way now to the three quarters. It's still Maximilian Fenway showing on top. Cavans Jimmer is moving up now, second on the outside with Vanway Lucky. Mini Senator gets a little closer in four. Tammy's Dandy's parked in the outside. As they go to the three quarter pole, Maximilian Fenway now steps away by three lengths. Driving by there, Cavans Jimmer is second. Tammy's Dandy coming up on the extreme outside. Vanway Lucky, Mini Senator looks to get out along the rail. As they arrive at the top of the stretch, they make the turn for home. Leading off the top turn and into the stretch, Maximilian Fenway still there by three. Cavans Jimmer is second. As they head off the top turn, they're racing through the stretch, and here they come to the wire. Maximilian Fenway taking them home with Cavans Jimmer. Tammy's Dandy's moving up on the outside. As they battle through the stretch, Opinions Harmony starts to close. At the wire, Maximilian Fenway. Opinions Harmony, Tammy's Dandy. Half 105 and 2, 3 quarters in 137 and 2, racing the mile. First race, Jerry Race Time, Opinions Harmony, Memory Best. Cavans Jimmer, Glen Galmate, Brigani Star, David Sorrell, and Van Way Lucky. They're off. Cavans Jimmer off the gate looks for the lead. Moving up on the outside, Brigani Star. JR Race Time is at the rail, then Opinions Harmony. Memory Best follows them into the turn. Moving up into the sixth spot is David Sorrell. Into the back stretch. They're heading now for the quarter. Cavans Jimmer is now moving up to take over the top. JR Race Time second. Brigani Star settles quickly into three. Opinions Harmony is tied up in four. Memory Best has the five spot. Racing six, Glen Gow Mate. Then Van Way Lucky off stride and trailing is David Sorrell. By the quarter, 31 seconds. They continue on to the upper turn. Leading by one open length is number four, Cavans Jimmer. In behind him, J.R. Race Time. Then Brigani Star. Opinions Harmony pacing four. Memory Best is sitting five. Swinging off the top, turning through the stretch. They're coming up in front of the grandstand of the half. Opinions Harmony looks to the outside. It's Cavans Jimmer still there by one. J.R. Race time. Opinions Harmony gains three outside. Then Bergani Star. Memory Best moves out to follow. In against the fence as they pass the half is Glenn Galmate. Van Way Lucky moves up. And David Sorrell half in 104. They continue on by the 5 eights Into the back stretch they go for the second time. Cavans Jimmer is still there. J.R. Race time. Brigani Star Opinions Harmony's outside. Memory Best follows her. Looking for room. Van Way Lucky. Glengal Mate and David Sorrell. Well back out of contention. As they pass the three quarters. Opinions Harmony coming once again up on the outside. Now three. Now takes over the two spot. She's after Cavans Jimmer. He leads in 135 and three. They go to the top turn. Cavans Jimmer outside and still gaining Opinions Harmony. Bergani Star is moving out. They're off the turn. J.R. Race time along the rail. Here they come now through the stretch. Cavans Jimmer. Opinions Harmony. J.R. Race time with Bergani Star. They battle through the stretch. Way outside is Memory Best. And here they come home. Racing down to the wire. It's going to be Cavans Jimmer. Opinions Harmony. Bergani Star. Mile was 207. Seven, eight starters at the top of the stretch. Land Ranger, Oars Champ, Tycoon Or. 
Dick Standy, Maximilian Fenway, Kavams, Jimmer Fash, and Lillian Dodger. Here they come. There off Kavans, Jimmer out quickly with Maximilian Fenway driving along the rail as Land Ranger. First turn, there are three deep. Land Ranger comes out of it on top. Maximilian Fenway up on the outside. Kavans, Jimmer going wide into the back stretch turn, and he now takes over the top. They move up to the quarter. Kavans Jimmer showing on top, Land Ranger set. Maximilian Fenway up three outside, now takes over the number two spot. Orr's Champ sits in behind that group with Dick Standy pacing along the rail five. There by the opening quarter, 29 and three-fifths. They move on to the top turn. Kavans by a length. As they arrive at the three-eighth turn, it's Kavans Jimmer up front. Maximilian Fenway settling into two. Land Ranger pacing along the rail three. Then Orr's Champ four. Dick Standy has five. With Tycoon Orr in behind. Through the stretch. They race out of the halfway point. It's Kavans Jimmer taking the field to the half. Still there second is Maximilian Fenway. Land Ranger pacing up three. Orr's Champ is four. There goes Dick Standy. Tycoon Orr's moving. Fancy cashing on the inside. Lillian Dodger. Half was in 102 and one fifth. They travel on to the 5 8 Into the back stretch for the second time, led by Cavans Jimmer. He holds a one length lead. Up tight in two, Maximilian Fenranger. Sitting three, Dick Standy parked outside. Orr's Champ along the rail looks to get out. Lillian Dodger's moving up. As they race by the three quarters, Cavans Jimmer by a half a length. Maximilian Fenway out on the outside. Then Land Ranger moves up 133 and 1 fifth. They travel to the top turn. Cavans Jimmer holds off a bit on the outside by Maximilian Fenway. They're at the 7 8 turning for home. Orr's Champ moving up. They're off the turn into the lane. One to go. Cavans Jimmer still there. Maximilian Fenway up on the outside. They travel through the stretch to the wire. Cavans Jimmer, Maximilian Fenway. Up through the center is Land Ranger as they come under the wire. It'll be Ranger. Cavans Jimmer. And Lillian Dodger gets up for three. The mile was 207 and one. Peter Pokey, Rob's Joy, Cavans, Jimmer, Chicory, Kate, Tycoon, or Pollyanna G, and Cloudy Lady. They're off and pacing. Cavans, Jimmer off the gate first. Chicory, Kate moves up on the outside. Pacing along the rail as they go into the first turn is Peter Pokey. Pollyanna G moves up sharply into the number four spot. They're heading into the back stretch. Rob's Joy, five. They're on their way to the quarter. Cavans, Jimmer off the top, leads by one length. Chicory, Kate is second. A length and a half back from three, Peter Pokey. Pollyanna G driving in four, then Rob's Joy from the number five position. They go to the quarter. Tycoon Orr sits along the rail in six and trailing his cloudy lady. They're by the first quarter in 31 seconds. They move on to the top turn. Cavans Jimmer still up front, holding on to the lead. As they move off the three-eighth turn into the stretch, facing second is Chicory Kate, closing up the gap three, Peter Pokey, followed by Pollyanna G four. Tycoon Orr now going to the outside. They race through the stretch for the first time up to the halfway point. Cavans Jimmer is still there. Chicory Kate enjoyed second. Pollyanna G is on the move on the outside. Against the fence, Peter Pokey. Tycoon Orr moves up. Rob's Joy. And still at the back, Cloudy Lady. Half in 103 and one fifth. They travel up to the 5 eighths. Into the back stretch, they go for the second. Cavans Jimmer by one. Racing second, Chicory Kate outside and continuing to gain ground is Pollyanna G. Tycoon Orr moves up to follow. Peter Pokey looks to get out along the rail. Through the back stretch, racing now to the three quarters. Cutter Pollyanna G up to challenge in the outside. Tycoon Orr within striking distance moves on for three. Chicory Kate in along the fence, 134 and three fifths. They battle on to the upper turn. Cavans Jimmer by a half. Outside the challenger is Pollyanna G. Tycoon Orr following her. Looking for racing room is Chicory Kate. Off the turn, an eighth to go, and here they come through the stretch. Cavans Jimmer takes them home. Pollyanna G is back up on the outside to chase again. And coming up wide, Tycoon Orr, their race to the lane. 
Under the wire, it's going to be Tycoon or Pollyanna G. It's close for three. Looks like Caban's Jim of the Mile was 206 and three. Bello Chip finished sixth. Obie's Moya Milo, the winner. Windy Bay Bomber, fourth. Glenn Gal Skipper was five. Lynn Gan Fifth race, seventh starters. Hornby Keith, Opinions Harmony. Dick Standy, Pollyanna G. Cavans Jimmer, Filthy Rich, and Squire Sam. Here they come. They're off. Kavan Zimmer off the gate with Pollyanna G moving up through the center. Hornby Keith in along the rail. Racing into the first turn. Pollyanna G outside. Kavan Zimmer now steps on to take over the top. By the eighth into the back stretch. Kavan Zimmer leading by a length. Pollyanna G second. Then Hornby Keith. Opinions Harmony drives up into the number four spot. Sitting in five is Dick Standy. They go through the back stretch to the quarter. Racing in six is Filthy Rich. Half wire Sam. By the quarter pole, Cavans Jimmer taking the field up to the quarter, gets them there in 30 and 4 fifths. They travel now to the upper turn. Cavans Jimmer by one length. Pollyanna G enjoys a good trip second. Racing three lengths in back of them. Heath, Opinions Harmony, he is now up into four as they swing off the top turn. Here they come through the stretch. Squire Sam moves from the tail end. Front of the grandstand to the halfway point. Number five leading, Cavans Jimmer. Still has one over Pollyanna G, then Hornby Keith. Outside, Squire Sam moving up, racing at the rail, Opinions Harmony. There goes Filthy Rich and Dick Standy's now trailing. Half, 103 and three-fifths. On they go to the 5-8, the back stretch for the second and final time. Cavans Jimmer, Pollyanna G, Hornby Keith. Way outside and coming on, Squire Sam. Filthy Rich gains five, then Opinions Harmony and Dick Standy. Moving up the back stretch, racing now to the three. Cavans Jimmer, there goes Pollyanna G to the outside. As they race by the three-quarter pole, Cavans Jimmer and Pollyanna G side by side, getting by there, 134 and 4. They move on to the top turn, Cavans Jimmer by a Pollyanna G out there second. Now Squire Sam takes over three, Hornby Keith racing four. They're off the top turn into the stretch, and here they come home. Cavans Jimmer coming back on against Pollyanna G as they battle head-to-head -head through the lane. Pollyanna G now takes over. Cavans Jimmer, Squire Sam is closing quickly on the outside. They race through the lane and to the wire. It'll be Pollyanna G. Cavans Jimmer holds on for two and finishing third, Squire Sam. Time of the mile was 2.04. Third race, S.J.'s Pride, Hornby Keith, Orst Almahurst, Cavan Shimmer, Lillian Dodger, Alan Douglas, striking success from the back, Becky Blenheim. Here they come. They're off. Cavan Shimmer off the gate first. Orst Champ moves up to the center, racing at the rail, S.J.'s Pride, then Hornby Keith. As he moved now into the back stretch, year leader S.J.'s pride. Cavans Jimmer, second outside, keeps him. He now takes over the top. Into the back stretch turn. Cavans Jimmer now leads the field, racing from two S.J.'s pride. Sitting along the wood horse champ, Hornby Keith follows up, then Island Douglas as they move to the opening quarter. Taking the field up to the quarter, Cavans Jimmer is off the top and has it by one length, getting a good trip behind him, S.J.'s pride. Tied up in three, Orr's champ, then Hornby Keith with Island Douglas. They move up to the three-eighth turn. Vans Jimmer now stay by one open length. Off the top turn and racing through the stretch. Driving up to the half. Vans Jimmer is still there over SJ's pride. In behind them, Orr's champ paces three. Hornby Keith takes a look at them four. Five rail for Island Douglas. Looking to the outside as they pass the halfway point is striking success. Then Lillian Dodger, followed by Becky Blenheim and Bullet Almahurst. They were by the half and 104. Into the back stretch they go for the time. Out and moving, Hornby Keith. As a race past the 5 eighths. they're on their way to the three quarters. Cavans Jimmer still there by one. SJ's Pride second. Hornby Keith gains ground, now shows three. Orr's Champ is four. Hill. Striking success moves up five, and here comes Island Douglas, now out of the number six spot. They race by the three quarters. Cavans Jimmer holding on to the top. Hornby Keith. Here 
comes Island Douglas way on the outside, striking success. Is in the center. They go to the top turn. As they arrive at the top of the stretch, Kavans Jimmer, Hornby Keith on the outside. Island Douglas keeps moving and gaining ground. Off the top turn, they're four wide as they race through the lane. Hornby Keith to the front. Island Douglas closing quickly on the outside, and here comes Orr's Champ as they battle through the stretch. Under the wire, it's going to be Hornby Keith, Island Douglas, and through the center, striking success. Just remind hold your tickets until the result becomes official. Friends of Harness. Seventh race, Cloudy Lady, Our Char Alert, Becky Blenheim, Cavans, Jimmer, Squire, Sam, SJ's Pride, Bulladama Hurst, Merrimish, and Chickory Kate from the back. They are off and pacing Cavans, Jimmer off the gate. First, Squire Sam moves up on the outside with SJ's Pride wide. Taking the fourth spot is our Charlotte as they race into the first turn. Off the top, Cavans Jimmer, Squire Sam, SJ's Pride into three. Our Charlotte racing from four, sitting behind them is Cloudy Lady. Gaining ground out on the outside, Maramashilu now up and takes the number five spot. As they go to the opening quarter, SJ's Pride now to the outside, gets up second. And after the top, Cavans Jimmer leads the field. By the quarter, 30 and four fifths, Cavans Jimmer, SJ's Pride outside is second and looks for the front. Squire Sam enjoys it behind them three. Out pacing from four. Miramichi Lou gaining ground in five. They're off the top turn. Cloudy Lady has the number six spot with Chicory Kate seven. The other two are back three lengths. Here they come through the stretch to the half. Cavans Jimmer still there by a length. Out SJ's pride is second. Squire Sam at the rail. Then our Charlotte. Miramichi Lou is moving up. Cloudy Lady follows. Then comes Chickory Kate with Becky Blenheim and Bullet Almahurst. They were by the half, 102 and three-fifths. Moving out on the outside is Miramichilu. She's now up for three. And into the back stretch they go. Cavans Jimmer, Squire Sam, Miramichilu. On the inside is Eric Charlotte. He's rough and off stride momentarily. As they move up to the three-quarter pole, Squire Sam coming on the outside is looking for the front. It's Squire Sam on the inside, Cavans Jimmer. There's stride for stride. Miramichilu behind them three. Then our Charlotte four. 134 and one fifth. They race to the upper turn. Squire Sam now moves up to take over the top. Miramichilu out and after him. They're off the top turn and here they come through the stretch. Squire Sam. Cavans Jimmer still at the rail. Outside, Miramichilu. They're driving through the lane for our Charlotte coming up wide on the outside. Racing through the stretch and to the wire. As they come to the wire, it's going to be Squire Sam winning it. Our Char Alert and Cavans Jimmer comes back on for three. Mile was 206 and a fifth. Toronto by Ron Heffler and Vince Ryans, driven by Gary. Race one, our Char Alert, Cavans Jimmer, Lillian Dodger, Devlin B, Miramichi Lou, Dick Standy, Island Douglas, Scales Prize on the outside, the trailer, Nectar's Choice. Here they come. They're up and pacing as they get away out quickly. Devlin B looks for the lead. Cavans Jimmer's up through the center. Dick Standy way outside. Driving in along the rail, our Char Alert. They go up now to the eighth into the back stretch. And your leader, Cavans Jimmer, has it by a lane. Standy out on the outside. Racing along the wood is our Charlotte. Settling for four is Evelyn B. They move up the back stretch. Nectar's Choice is pacing from five. Then Lillian Dodger, followed by Miramichi Lou. Island Douglas has the number eight spot. Arrive at the quarter. Your trailer's Gale's Prize. Cavans Jimmer takes them to the quarter. 31 seconds. They continue on now to the upper turn. Racing second hour, Charlotte. Tied up in three is Dick Standy. In the fourth spot, Devlin B. They move on turn. Here they come in front of the grandstand. Cavans Jimmer still has it by a length. Getting a good trip behind him second. Our Charler. They're off the turn through the lane. Up to the halfway point. Taking a look from three is Dick Standy. Passing the halfway. Blin B has four. 
Nectar's Choice Five. There goes Lillian Dodger moving out as Island Douglas. Coming with them, Gail's Prize and Miramichi Lou. Half was 104 and two fifths. Lillian Dodger gaining ground out on the outside. They move on to the five eighths. Into the bank's consumer still there by one leg. Our Charlotte is second. Dick Standy paces three now. Lillian Dodger takes over three. As they move up the bank stretch, Island Douglas follows five. As they go to the three-quarter pole, Cavan's Jimmer holding on by a leg. Dodger now outside is second. Racing in along the Woodhour Charlotte. Island Douglas moves up four. Dick Standy drops back five. Nectar's Choice looks for room. By the three quarters, one thirty-six and two fifths. They can see the upper turn. Cavan's Jimmer tries to hold on. Lillian Dodger pushing on the outside with Island Douglas still there three. They're off the turn into the stretch, and here they come now for home. Your leader, Cavan's Jimmer, Lily Dodger, Island Douglas, Chloe on the outside. They're racing through the lane and to the wire. Lily Dodger, Island Douglas outside, up through the center, Eric Charlotte. As they come onto the wire, it's going to be Island Douglas, close for second and third. It could go either way between Cavan's Jimmer and Eric Charlotte. We'll wait the mile, 208 and 4. Marmashilu, 5. Dick Standy, 7th. Island Douglas, the winner. Gales Pearl was seventh. Highland Notice finished fifth. Scotch Go Easy Scratch. Pollyanna G third. Wayne's Maid was Scratch. Brooks is the winner. Old Time Robbie was. Nine threes, nine entries. Dick Standy, Cloudy Lady, Devlin B, Cavans, Jimmer, Lil Becky, Blenheim, River Valley, Skelly, Playboys in the outside of the trailer. Mara Machine Lou. There, up in Cavan's Jimmer gets off the gate first, looking for the lead up through the center's Devlin B, driving in along the rail, Dick Standy. There, three wide as they move up the eighth into the back stretch. Dick Standy comes out of it on top. Devlin B settles in behind him for second. Racing outside and now driving on as Cavan's Jimmer. Marmashilu has four. Playboy racing from the five spot. Well back in sickly lady. Then comes Lillian Dodger as they arrive at the quarter. Becky Blenheim has the number eight spot and trailing River Valley's Cayley. First quarter, a quick 29 and three-fifths. Cavan's Jimmer out on the outside, showing on top. Now leads by one. Dick Standy racing second. Up tight in three, Devlin B. Miramichi Lou gets a look at them four. Playboy has the number five spot as he move off the top turn. Coming in front of the grandstand out of the halfway point. Still up front, Jimmer. Devlin B goes to the outside. He's second and looking for the front end. Miramichi Lou moves out to follow. Half 101 and two fifths. They travel on to the five eighths. Devlin B looking for the lead. Cavans Jimmer along the rail battles back. Miramichi Lou pacing up three outside. Then Dick Standy four. Playboy has five. Catching up six. Cloudy Lady. Lillian Dodger goes to the outside. From the back of the field, River Valley's Kaylee and Becky Blenheim. They race through the back stretch. Out of the three quarters, they start to close up. As they drive by the three quarter pole, Devlin B, Miramichi Lou, way out on the outside, is coming on looking for the top. They get by the three quarters in 133 and three fifths. Chi Lou now has the front. Playboy getting wound up, moves to the outside from three. He's now second. Lillian Dodger moving up. River Valley's Kaylee way outside. Cloudy Lady. Becky Blenheim coming with a rush from the back. They're off the turn, and here they come. Miramichilu leading through the lane. Playboy is up on the outside as they come on home. They're not going to catch Miramichilu as they race down to the wire. Miramichilu will win it, finishing second. Becky Blenheim looks like Playboy for the show. will have to get a picture. Mile was 207. Mile 207 and three fifths for Tracy's Choice. English Dream, you race better. You there, off and pacing Tracy's Choice off the gate looks for the lead. Glenn Gallan up on the outside. Cavan's Jimmer along the rail. Glenn B moving out on the extreme outside with Dick Standy moving up. Up by the eighth into the back stretch they go. They're heading for the quarter and off the top. Cavan's Jimmer now leads by a length. Racing second Tracy's Choice. Dick Standy holds down the number three spot outside. Is Devlin B along the rail. Glenn Gallan as they move on to the opening quarter. Racing in front of the quarter. Cavan's Jimmer takes the field there. 
Getting a good trip second, Tracy's Choice. By there in 30 seconds flat as they drive on now to the upper turn. Kummer leading by one, Tracy's Choice second with Dick Standy, then Devlin B with Glenn Galland. Glenn Galmade follows them. They move off the top turn into the stretch as they approach the halfway point. Here they come in front of the grandstand, and your leader is Swan Cavan's Jimmer. Driving from the two spot, Tracy's Choice. Back to the outside comes Devlin B, then Dick Standy. Moving up from the back, Glenn Galmate. Glenn Galland's along the rail. Brent Schrocky out and moving, and your trailer, J.R. A half, 103 and one fifth. Traveling on out of the 5 eighths into the back stretch, they go for the second time. Cavan's Jimmer's still there. Devlin B parked outside second. Tracy's Choice, Glenn Galmate. Dick Standy along the rail. Into the back stretch, heading for the three quarters. Cavan's Jimmer still off the top. Devlin B parked outside a second. Then Tracy's Choice, Glenn Galmate moves up. Looking for the number three spot. They go by the three-quarter pole. Cavan's Jimmer holding on by a length and one, four and three-fifths. They travel now to the upper turn. Here leader Cavan's Jimmer. Devlin B is still out there second and now comes back on. They swing off the top turn into the lane for home. It's Cavan's Jimmer. Devlin B keeps edging outside second now by a quarter of a length. And here they come to the lane. Devlin B outside. Cavan's Jimmer. Moving up now, Glenn Galmade is coming on as they race it out through the stretch to the wire. Devlin B, Tracy's Choice up through the center. At the wire, it's going to Tracy's Choice. Close for second, it's between Glenn Galmade and Devlin B. Mile was 207 and 3. Upcoming the Daily Double on races 2 and 3. In the second race, there's also Exactor and Win Place and Show Wages. Race one, five starters, Tom Wood Candy, Napa one, Cavan Jimmer, Fancy Cash, and Victor Skipper on the outside, and here they come. They're off the sing as they get away, looking for the early lead, Cavan Jimmer, Victor Skipper's up on the outside, Fancy Cash, and Tom Wood Candy at the rail. They go to the eighth end of the back stretch, Tom Wood Candy leads by one length, Cavan Jimmer parked outside for two, racing in a long tree is Fancy Cash, then Victor Skipper four, driving at the back of the field. As they move up to the quarter is Napa 1. They race by the quarter and Tom Wood Candy takes them there. Cavan's Jimmer is still outside. They get by the quarter and two-fifths. Tom Wood Candy the leader. Cavan's Jimmer races second outside and challenges for the front. Fancy Cash enjoys it behind them three. Then a length back and setting four is Victor Skipper. And your trailer, Napa 1. Off the top turn, racing through the stretch first time, coming up to the halfway point. And it's Tom Wood Candy and Cavan's Jimmer still side by side. Fancy Cash racing it along the rail. Victor Skipper moves out from four. And Napa is trailing. Reaching the half, 101 and two-fifths. They continue on to the five-eighths. Moving into the back stretch for the second time. As they head by the five-eighth marker, Tom Wood Candy is still there. Cavan's Jimmer outside. Victor Skipper follow Fancy Cash at the rail. And catching up Napa 1. They go by the 5 eighths through the back stretch, and Victor Skipper now moving up on the outside, comes on to show on top. Victor Skipper now leading. Tom Wood Candy is second. Fancy Cash on the three. Cavan's Jimmer drops back. Napa one moving up. Three quarters and 134. They travel on to the upper turn, and your leader is Victor Skipper. Here comes Fancy Cash to the outside. Arriving at the 7 eighths, turning for home. Skipper by three lengths. Fancy Cash out on the outside is second. Tom Wood Candy holding on to three. Napa one moves up four. As they race through the stretch, they're coming home. Victor Skipper, Fancy Cash closing quickly on the outside. Drive the lane and Fancy Cash moves up to take over. Racing to the wire, it'll be Fancy Cash. Victor Skipper and Tom Wood Candy, the mile 206 and four. Eleventh race, Tom Wood Candy traveling Sailor Napa One, Glenn Gow Mate, Cavans Jimmer, Brett Sniff, David Sorrell, Queen from the back, Jack Dumb. Here they come. 
They're up. Tom Wood Candy on the inside. And Cavan's Jimmer moves up quickly on the outside. Glenn Galmates in the center. Jack Dumbrell going now to the eighth end of the back stretch. Cavan's Jimmer parked on the outside is looking for the top spot. Tom Wood Candy now racing second at the rail. Jack Dumb is following them. Up on the outside is Brett's Nymph. They're heading through the back stretch to the opening quarter. Traveling sits in the number five position. As they arrive at the quarter, Glenn Galmate is on the outside. Racing past the quarter pull. As they drive by there in 30 and 4 fifths, Brett Snymph getting up quickly on the outside. Now comes to the hands. Jimmer is second. Behind them three is Tom Wood Candy. They move off the top turn and into the stretch. They approach the half. Jack down back up into the number four spot. Glenn Galmate is out on the outside. As they swing off the turn through the lane, they're driving up to the halfway point with Brett Sniff leading the field by one length. Holding on to two, Cavan's Jimmer racing behind them three, Tom Wood Candy, then Jack Dump. Then Galmate is outside, traveling sailor, Rothman's Queen is out of Napa One moves from the tail end, and David Sorrell is at the rail. Half in 103, they go to the five-eighths, into the back stretch for the second time. Still with the front, it's Brett Snymph holding on to the top. Cavan's Jimmer second, then Tom Wood Candy goes to the outside from three. Jack Dumb follows in four, traveling sailor also moving up with David Sorrell on the inside. Racing past the three quarters, Tom Wood Candy moves on to take over the top. Jack Dumb parked on the outside is now up by the three quarters in 135 and four. Traveling sailor's moving and David Sorrell way on the outside. They go to the top turn, Tom Wood Candy now by one open length. Jack Dumb second, David Sorrell moves up quickly with Traveling Sailor. The turn and coming through the stretch. Racing for home, Tom Wood Candy leads the field through the lane. As they drive through the stretch, Jack Dumb up on the outside. They battle it out through the stretch and to the wire. Under the wire, it's cl- it's between Tom Wood Candy and Jack Dumb. Looks like David Sorrell for the show spot. Lehigh Star, sixth. Good Clean Fun, fourth. Star Bingo was seventh. Cameron Brent, eighth. Smoke damage, third. Tenth and final race of the evening, Spirit Tad, Brett Snemp, Cavan Jimmer, Traveling Sailor, Nectar's Choice, Renfield Girl, Island Candy, from the back tier, Pine Bud Richard, top of the stretch, and here they come. They're off Spirit Tad on the inside. Renfield Girl moving out strong. Traveling Sailor's in the center and fine, but Richard moves up. They turn. Spirit Tad has the top. Traveling Sailor second outside now moves up to challenge. Racing in behind them is Pine Bud Richard. Renfield Girl parked and driving on the outside, moving up from four. Into the back stretch turn. They're heading now to the opening quarter. Sailor moves on to the top. Renfield Girl now up second. At the rail of Spirit Tad, Pine Bud Richard is going to the outside as they pass the quarter pole. Getting by the quarter, they arrive there in 32 and 1 fifth. Traveling sailor on Renfield Girl, Pine Bud Richard is out and moving. They race on now to the top turn. Spirit Tad sits in the number four spot, swinging off the upper turn. Here they come through the stretch as they drive by the halfway point. Up as they move through the lane. Showing the way as they pass the half. Traveling Sailor with Pine Bud Richard outside and challenging for the front end. Renfield Girl moving up on the outside as they come by the grandstand as Brett Sniff. Here comes Nectar's Choice now from six. Spirit Tad along the rail. Cavan's Jimmer and Island Candy. The half was in 104 and three-fifths. Into the back stretch turn. They're on their way now to the three quarters. Traveling Sailor leading. Traveling Sailor on top. Hanging tough on the outside is Pine Bud Richard. Brett's Nymph is moving up for three. Nectar's Choice out on the outside is following them. Renfield Girl drops back along the rail. Pine Bud Richard now top. Brett's Nymph coming up on the outside with Nectar's Choice moving. 136 and four fifths. They continue on to the top turn. Pine Bud Richard, Brett Snip outside. Here comes Nectar's Choice, now driving on three wide. At the top of the stretch, they're turning for home, and Nectar's Choice coming quickly on the outside, racing through the lane as they drive on home. It's Nectar's Choice closing up quickly on the outside as they battle through the stretch. Brett Snip comes back, getting Renfield Girl is closing. At the wire, it's going to be Nectar's Choice. Looks like Renfield Girl, and on the inside, Pine Bud Richard. The mile was 210 and one fifth.
Fourth race, Pine Bud Richard, Brett Snymph, Cavans, Jimmer Goodfront, Tracy's Choice, Sportsfield, and Spirit Tad on the outside. There, off force field out quickly. Tracy's choice in the center, driving along the rail as they go to the turn as Pine Bud Richard. Moving up through the middle, Tracy's choice takes the top. Force field is still out there. Pine Bud Richard moving up second. They head into the back stretch turn. Brett's nymph along the rail has the number four spot, followed then by Cavan's Jimmer. They go through the back stretch turn on their way to the quarter. Force field moves up sharp on the outside and comes on now for the front. Racing behind them, second, Tra- Choice, tied up in three, Pine Bud Richard. From four, Brett Snymph, then Cavan's Jimmer, reaching the quarter, 30 and three. Good front has the number six spot, and at the back is Spirit Tad. Moving on to the three-eighth turn and into the stretch. It's number six field, setting the fractions and leading by one open length. Driving in the number two spot off the turn is Tracy's Choice. They race through the stretch to the halfway point. Force field is still there, Tracy's Choice from two. Sitting behind them, Pine Bud Richard. Four and looking to the outside is Brett Snymph at the rail. Cavan's Jimmer. Good front going wide. And uh, still trailing by here is Spirit Tad, the half in 104. Moving on to the 5 8 turn. Into the back stretch for the settle time. It's still force field. Tracy's choice. Cavan's Jimmer looks for room. Here's Pine Bud Richard out of the outside moving up. Brett Snymph moves out to follow as they drive on to the three quarters. Looking for the lead on the outside, and take Pine Bud Richard, he's now out of the front. Brett Snymph following him outside. Good front is also moving up, dropping back a bit as force field. Cavans Jimmer along the rail. By there in 135 and three-fifths. They continue on to the top turn. And as they arrive at the seven-eighths, Pine Bud Richard. Brett Snymph is second. Good front coming up on the outside. They turn for home of an eighth left to go. As they drive through the stretch, Pine Bud Richard by one. Brett Snymph is second. Good front keeps moving on the outside. Battle through the lane. Pine Bud Richard. Good front closing on the outside with Brett Snymph along the rail. Racing down to the wire. It'll be Pine Bud Richard. Good front at Brett Snymph. Mile 208 and 2. Eleventh and final race. Island County, Force Field, Cavans, Jimmer, Napa One, Tracy's Choice, April Seedling, and Spirit Tad on the outside. There off Tracy's Choice off the gate is looking for the lead with Force Field up through the center of the pack. Snowmobile drives along the wide of the turn, and Force Field comes out of it on top. Snowmobile on the inside. Racing wide is Tracy's Choice. They move up now into the back stretch turn. As they go by the eighth, they're on their way to the quarter. Looking for the lead. Outside, Tracy's Choice now shows on top. Force Field from two. They battle to the quarter. Two links in back of them. We find a snowmobile. Then Cavans Jimmer. Quarter and 29 and three-fifths. They travel on to the upper turn. Up front, Tracy's Choice. Setting the with Force Field. Enjoying a good trip now from two. Starting to catch up a bit in three is Snowmobile. With Cavans Jimmer four. The rest of the field well back. Island Candy is pacing five. They move off the turn and into the stretch. They're approaching the halfway point, and it's Tracy's Choice on top. Force Field second. Now within two lengths is Snowmobile. Cavans Jimmer follows to the half. Island Candy well back. Moving up on the outside is Napa One. Following them by here, April Seedling and your trailer at Tad. They're at the half in 101 and three fifths. On they go now into the back stretch turn as they race by the five eighths. Napa One is off stride and now trailing. They head into the back stretch, continuing on to the three quarters with Tracy's Choice up. Force Field second. Catch, gaining ground and moving up from three to the outside is Snowmobile. Cavan's Jimmer is driving four. They reach the three quarters. Tracy's Choice gets them by there in 133 and three. They move on now to the top turn. Tracy's Choice still looking strong on the front end. She pulls away by four lengths. Snowmobile out on the outside is second. At the rail, force field with Cavan's Jimmer. They make the turn for home, and Tracy's Choice holds on to a four-length lead as they drive through the lane and come to the wire. It's Tracy's Choice. Snowmobile moving up on the outside as they battle to the wire. Tracy's Choice. Snowmobile coming quickly at the wire. Tracy's Choice holds Snowmobile, 
And Cabello, fourth, Keystone accents the winner. Fifth race, traveling Sailor Ocean Street, H.R. Iroquois, Hornby Keith, Brett Sniff, Linfield Canuck, J.B. Striker, Spare and Cavans, Jimmer from the back tier. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Linfield Canuck outside looks for the early lead, driving out between horses as they race to the turn is Ocean Street. So coming up three deep is Hornby Keith and pacing in along the rail as they make the turn traveling Sailor. They go to the eighth. Ocean Street has the top. Hornby Keith outside for two. Traveling Sailor sits in three. Gavans Jimmer four on the inside. Linfield come moving up to take over four. Following that group is H.R. Airqua. Parked outside is Spare Tad. As they drive by the opening quarter, Brett Snimp is moving up in J.B. Stryker. Quarter raced in 30 and three-fifths. They continue on to the top turn and Ocean is the lead. Still parked outside. Hornby Keith. Along the rail is traveling sailor. Linfield Canuck moves up as they swing off the top turn. They're heading for the half. In the five spot, Cavans Jimmer, then H.R. Airquois. H.R. Airquois on the outside. They pass the grandstand. First time racing by the halfway point led by Ocean Street. Hornby Keith is still out there second. Linfield Canuck pacing three. Traveling sailor, H.R. Airquois, Cavans Jimmer with Brett Sniff. Facing behind them as they pass the halfway point is Spirit Tad and J.B. Stryker. The half, 102 and four-fifths. They continue on to the five-eighths. Now into the back stretch for the second time. And Ocean Street is still on top. Keith second and now comes back on. Linfield Canuck facing three. Traveling Sailor at the rail has four. H.R. Airquois stays behind them five. Gavans Jimmer looks to get out. They reach the three-quarters in 134 and one-fifth. They top turn, and it's Ocean Street still there. Hornby Keith back at him on the outside as they swing off the turn. Here comes H.R. Iroquois on the extreme outside. One-eighth to go in there. Into the stretch for home. Ocean Street Keith and H.R. Iroquois closing quickly. They travel through the lane and to the wire. Ocean Street. H.R. Iroquois up on the outside. They're battling through the lane. They're not going to catch Ocean Street. H.R. Iroquois will be too. Tight. We'll have to get a picture for the show spot. Mile was 206. Nine. Spirit Tad, sixth. Command Jimmer, finished third. From the top down, four. Second race, five trotters, first half of the double noble stuff. Remy Sprisco, Inga's dream, Captain Jamie on the outside, but here they come. The rough and trotting as the getaway Inga's dream is looking for the early lead. Trotting up on the outside is Captain Jamie. They go to the turn, noble stuff in along the rail. Heading up to the eighth end of the back stretch, Inga's noble stuff second, settling three. As they make the turn is Captain Jamie, trotting for Remy's Briscoe. Captain Jamie's to the outside, and there goes Noble Stuff. They're three wide as they head for the quarter. Noble Stuff now trots to the front. Captain Jamie out three, racing along the water's Inga's Dream. Well back, Remy's Briscoe and Potato Butt, trotting by the quarter, 29 and three-fifths. They move on to the upper turn, and it's Noble Stuff now leading by one. Captain Jamie's outside second. Racing behind the Ming, starting to catch up a bit as Remy's Briscoe and then Potato Butt. They're off the turn. Here they come through the stretch. First time they move up to the half, and Noble Stuff leads by one. Settling in along the rail a bit, but now comes back to the outside as Captain J. Staying with them, three Inga's Dream. Remy's Briscoe is four, and Potato Butt by the half, one minute and three fifths. They trot on to the five-eighths, going into the back stretch for the second time, and Noble Stuff is still there. Captain Jamie outside, sec Inga's Dream, getting up closer to three. Remy's Briscoe closes the gap a bit, four, and Potato Butt into the back stretch turn. They're on their way out of the three quarters, and Noble Stuff hangs tough. He's still there by a quarter of a length. Captain Jamie on the outside stays with him as they drive by the three quarters. Noble Stuff now by a length. Captain Jamie outside is second, reaching the three quarters, 131 and three. They got a shot at the track record on the trot. 
As they go now to the upper turn, it's noble stuff. Captain Jamie there. Here comes Remy's Briscoe now to take three. Dropping back in four is Inga's Dream at Potato Bud. They've got an eighth to go, and here they come through the lane for home. Noble Stuff holds on to the top. Captain Jamie is still out there and still coming. Here they come to the wire. Noble Stuff, Captain Jamie on the outside. They're both under a drive. As they come home, Noble Stuff, Captain Jamie under the wire. It's tight. We'll have to get a picture. 203 and 2. We have a new trotting record. Moving to the winner's circle, the royally bred four-year-old. Crookshank Memorial for $25,000. Greener Pastures, Angel Morning Joy, High Class Minbar, Wits and Gypsy, Ambro, Delaware, Willow Bowl, and Miraculous Moment. They're off and facing Angel Shadow off the gate first. High Class Minbar drives up on the outside. Greener Pastures in along the rail. As they go to the first turn, it's Greener showing on top. Angel Shadow parked outside second. Morning Joy now grabs three, settling into four High Class Minbar. As they travel through the back stretch, Wits and Gypsy is pacing from five. Ambro Delaware has six, racing in seven, bull and miraculous moment. They race to the opening quarter. Greener Pastures takes them there in 28 seconds flat. They move on now to the upper turn. Greener Pastures by one open length. Angel Shadow from two. Morning Joy sits three along the rail. Wit sends Gypsy now to the outside. They're off the top turn and racing through the stretch. First time to the halfway point. Leading the field as they drive in front of the grandstand. Number one, Greener Pastures. Wit sends Gypsies out on the outside. Angel Shadow at the rail. Ambrodell moving. Morning Joy on the inside. High class Minbar, Willow Bowl moving up, and Miraculous Moment, the half 50, 8 and 1 fifth. They travel on now to the 5 eighths, into the back stretch for the second time. It's still Greener Pastures, gaining ground outside. Wits ends Gypsy, racing three up the rail is Angel's Shadow. Ambro Delaware now moves up. Following him on the outside is Willow Bowl. They're driving through the back stretch to the three quarters, and Greener Pastures is strong on the front end. Wits and he's outside. Angel Shadow looks to get out three at the rail. Ambro Delaware shows four with Morning Joy five, 127 and four fifths. They travel now to the top turn. Here comes Wits and Gypsy with a rush in the air against Greener Pastures. One eighth to go, and here they come through the stretch. They got a shot at the track record. They're turning for home. What sends Gypsy on the outside? Greener Pastures, Angel Shadow, Willow Ball is moving up. Morning Joy in the center. There it'll be. What sends Gypsy finishing second? Greener Pastures, the mile in 157 and 1 fifth, the new track record at Sackville Downs.